What's going on guys? I'm Jake the Lawn Kid. Welcome back to another weekend in the lawn. In today's video we're going to be talking all about leaves on the lawn. The good, the bad, and what you need to do about them in preparation for the winter. With all that being said, let's get into the video. I get into the bread and butter I want to go ahead and clarify a couple of things the first thing is the length of this video I know it's a quickie but that's only because I have very little time to get this done in fact I have about three days exact to have this video up and out for Monday because at the time that you're watching this video I will have gotten back from my trip to Utah to visit my buddy John Perry if you guys want to see the episode of lawn fires that we did together which should be out by the time this video goes live I will leave that up here in the eye in the top right corner as well as linked in the description below. Go check that out. Hope, again, hopefully all of this is out like I intended it to be. The second thing is I want to go ahead and give you guys an update on this guy right here. So for those of you guys who don't know, I am participating in a little campaign that we're running here in the lawn care community called Movember, where you basically grow a mustache for the entire month, or in my case, like I mentioned last time, a fuzz stash because... I'm not one for growing facial hair. I'm partaking in that campaign for the month of November. It's somewhat coming in. It's it's starting to get a little thicker, but if I'm going to be honest with you, I really can't wait to shave this thing off. Now, it's not because I hate the cause or anything, but anyway, 19 days in, 10 more to go. I'll keep you guys posted. Okay, so now let's get into the actual bread and butter, and that is going to be about leaves on the lawn. The first thing I want you guys to take note of when it comes to leaves on the lawn is the fact that they're both very beneficial for your lawn and very detrimental to your lawn. Now to talk about the benefits that make having leaves on the lawn advantageous, advantageous advantageous is that how you say it and advantageous is the fact that they will add a little bit of nutrient value to your soil if they're taken care of properly which brings me to the negative when the leaves aren't taken care of properly you can get a really dense leaf covering on your lawn that can actually choke things out now to explain what I mean by that um, as as time goes on and the fall progresses more leaves are going to fall from the trees and if you're not maintaining them they're going to get out of control before you know it to a point where you have two inch tall leaf piles on your lawn and you can't even see a single square inch of grass now this is not good because what can happen here is a couple of things number one you're blocking out sunlight which is the key factor to having grass right you need sunlight to promote photosynthesis which is really how the plant gets its energy to be encouraged to grow right if you're taking that factor out of the equation then that's just a slow death for your grass plant in addition to the sunlight factor another problem you're going to deal with is when the snow comes around if you leave these leaves on the lawn and you get all the snow that comes in what can happen is these leaves are actually going to distribute the snow weight incorrectly and when that happens you can crush the crowns of the grass plant now real quick some of you guys might be wondering Jake what do you mean by crushed crowns well I'm gonna go ahead and tell you basically what the crown is is it's the heart of the plant it's the heart of the grass plant or as I like to call it the tree trunk of lawns it's the foundation that helps the grass stand up when you crush that foundation that grass plant is going to die so that's not something that we want to have happen so when it comes to maintaining leaves on the lawn there's so many different things you could do out there but for purposes of this video, I'm only going to talk about the big four that we all talk about here in the community. Bagging them up, mulching them down, raking them in, or blowing them out. Let's go ahead and start with that first one, bagging them up. Basically what it is, is it's just a typical mowing like normal. Only difference being is that you have your bagger on the mower and you're going across the lawn and sucking those leaves up. Now, this is something I would typically recommend if you have a dense leaf layer that's a little too dense for mulching, but not too dense to the point where you can't see the lawn completely. Perfect conditions for bagging. Go ahead and bag those, dispose of them properly, or dump them in your easement or wherever you keep them in the back and store them and possibly down the road you can use those as compost or maybe fertilizer or mulch for your mulch beds in your lawn and landscape oh scared me silverback 
Onto the second one, mulching them down. Basically what this is, is like I said a couple of seconds ago, it's just a regular mowing, business as usual, continuing to mulch the clippings down into the lawn. Basically what we're doing is we're returning all of that organic material from the leaves down into the ground, while at the same time breaking them up into smaller bits that won't damage the crowns of the grass plant. The third one, which is raking them in, is basically old school. You basically go out there with a rake, a trash can, a tarp, or really anything to rake the leaves into and you just go out there and you rake them manually. Now this um, this method I highly recommend if you live in a very small lawn like maybe in the suburbs of Chicago where you have about 500 square feet or less and you tend to get a lot of leaf cover because there are a lot of trees out there in the city. Um, this is where I recommend you go out there and do it the old-fashioned way as they are too thick to mulch and definitely too thick to bag. It's going to bog down your mower either way. So get out there, rake them up manually and dispose of them or reuse them. The fourth and final option is going to be for those on the other end of the lawn size spectrum or wherever you want to call it and that is going to be somebody who has about 30,000 to an acre's worth of land and you live in the middle of the woods and you have a ton of trees and you get a lot of leaf cover to the point where it's too thick to mulch and definitely too thick to bag and that is just going to be to get out there with your leaf blower and blow all of the leaves up into a giant pile and as I talked about earlier you can dispose them or as I highly advocate keep them somewhere on site and recycle them use them for something else on the property right use them for mulch use them for compost right use them as fertilizer for your plants in the spring it's going to be very cost effective as you don't have to pay for somebody to come and pick up the leaves and on top of that you can reuse them on site for something later on down the road to add nutrient value to your lawn or maybe some of your landscape ornamentals that you have That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, please be sure to subscribe to the channel, and I will show you how to get the deepest, darkest, greenest, thickest lawn on the block. I'm Jake the Lawn Kid. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. If I don't see you guys next time, your lawn is going to be dominated. See you later. Jeez, I was on a roll, man. What are you doing? That's funny. I know. Do you like that? Yeah, I love it. Are you on the screen back there? No. Yeah. All right, hang on. I'm I'm almost done. I'm on I'm on a tight time here. Okay. Let me finish this real quick.